Hey, Danny with Maverick Agriculture, and today we're going to be doing some quick fixes on the Agress T40. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the spray lamps, and I'm just going to kind of show you if you're having any leakage, where the trouble problems might be, and what you could do to fix those. So the first thing I did was take off this cover that covers our motors up here and then once you have it off you'll actually be able to see the hoses up here and then you can kind of check to see if there's any damage or if they're not all the way connected or loose and check that and then we can work our way down to the disc. So you can basically just take this off and then you can look inside to make sure that there's no cracks or seeing if like there's any damage on the seal um, and if there is replace and then that would probably solve your problem or it could also be the connection down here to the hose. It's all pulled pretty tight in here because it's like the perfect length. So you just want to make sure that this doesn't come out or loose or that there's no damage as well right there. And then if the leak isn't necessarily coming from the spray lance and it might be the hoses or the pumps on your tank itself. So you can just take the tank out and do the same thing. Check for the connections to the hoses or if there's any cracks or damages to any of the seals. So the next thing I'll move on to is the motor. So if you're ever having troubles turning them, which you should always do, especially if you take it out after a while, just make sure those motors are turning nice and easy for you. If you're having trouble, it could just be that there's something stuck or that you might need to replace them. So something to check for that is when you're turning them, try to have it at like eye level and basically move the blade around. And while you're turning it, watch at this rim right here of the motor to make sure that it basically stays level as you turn it all the way around. So you may have to do this with the arms actually out so you can turn it all the way around and then just make sure it looks good. There's no exterior damage. And if everything looks good, it's probably something you'll have to flush out. And if it doesn't, um, replace. And then for flushing it out, DJI recommends that you don't actually put water um, in this piece right here, but through these notches. So you can probably just take a little bit of water and flush it out, kind of like turn it as you're doing it and try to get anything that might be stuck in there. So the next thing that we really haven't seen a lot in the T40s, but it still does happen occasionally, is if you get like an ESC error and you need to change it out. So really quick, I'm basically just gonna show you how to change them out. It's actually pretty easy. The one thing you should note is that the screws on the outside are one type of screw and then there's two screws on the inside that are different. So just don't get those mixed up and we'll show you uh, that a little bit better here. Uh, so I already took out the four exterior screws on the ESC. Those are just on the four on the um, bottom and top. So you take off this little rubber cover and then there's two more screws that you need to take out here. And then you get to watch them struggle taking this cord out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and then the two screws on the inside, which again are different ones on the outside, so just don't get those mixed up. So then once you unscrew the two screws, you can pull that off and then you'll get your ESC out. Once you grab your new ESC, basically just plug the new ESC back into the ESC cable and then grab your screws that go on the inside. All right, so those are just some of the common fixes that you can probably do yourself. You might have seen them already, maybe not, but if there's anything else that you want us to cover on, on some fixes or to just dive more into on certain like errors, just comment below and we'll make sure to do a video about them. So again, I'm Danny with Maverick Agriculture. Make sure to like and subscribe.